All right, guys, Stacy Tovar, man, she's just crushing it. Thanks nice work. Thanks. Another re like family recipe. Family recipe for sure. I changed it up a little bit. We called it cooks, cukes and cream. Cukes and cream. Cukes and cream. Um, when I was growing up, and mom would use half and half sugar, and I got rid of the sugar. Um, we got a little less sugar going on with the heavy cream versus the half and half. And I've still got the apple cider vinegar. Everything is the same. English cucumbers. Nice and clean. Onions, easy. Nice and clean. Okay, cool. Well, you guys come right back for the meal of your dream. Up next is Stacy's Cukes Thanks. and Cream. All right. All right. Take it away. What do we got? Okay, so what can I do? we've got six English cucumbers here, um, two onions, a cup of heavy cream, and half a cup of apple, apple cider, cider vinegar. vinegar. Okay. So we're going to peel the cucumbers, we're going to chop the onion, a um, little salt and pepper. So I'm let's in. prep that up. Show me what to do. Okay, you do three and I do three. Three and three? All right, let's see who does it the fastest. Yes. This will be a no-brainer. I don't know about that. Maybe you'll give me a run for my well, money. Well, this is the ultimate peeler. Firm grip. The Yo, firm grip. Peeler. Yeah. And don't waste anything. Lauren's going to get fired up about that. I know, dude. I'm totally going to get him one. Have you ever seen this move? Watch this. Down, up, down, up, oh, down, up. Oh, no. You can do I don't the think, same. Can I? Yeah. Sweet. Uh -huh. And then maybe you could try to do the whole peel in one oh strip. Let's see that. Oh my god, I don't know if I could do that. Cut the ends off. Is that Cut fair? the ends off. Just the Just tips. They tend bit. to be a little bit bitter, so none of that. Feed these to the rabbits. For sure. Um, we actually threw them in with the pigs, chickens too. All right, so we're gonna slice it I'm using a mandolin. Okay. And then thickness-wise, how thick? Super how thin. thin. Yeah, the thinner the better, but like you can that, create your a own. A little thicker? That's, yeah, paper Let's thin. Take. You can create your own thickness. It doesn't matter. No one's judging. Do your own thing. Hey, I gotta one get way going. We could speed it up. Do you want to see how we could speed this up? I do want to see how you speed this thing up. Take this and do this. Ah. Huh? Nice. Double trouble. Yeah, for sure. Do you go back and forth? That's how it's designed. Watch your fingers. Wash them or watch them? Watch them. them. Okay. You wash I've them too that. or not? No, I mean, you probably should. Sometimes. I've done that before where it's gotten a little too close for here, comfort. I just dip it in salt. There you then... go. Mm. That's the way to go. Right on the hat. Okay, I think you're really butchering mine. No, it's good. Not as good as yours. Yeah, if you just lift this. And that way it's got room oh, to fall. So you're not, I mean, look at this. I know, this I know, is, I know. It's no fine. No one's judging. This is nuts. So we were talking about um, English cucumbers versus, um, versus regular -English. cucumbers. Regular? Not English. Yeah, what do they call it? Regular cucumbers. So they don't even plant those other ones in England or what? They do. Oh. But growing up on the farm, nothing compared to fresh out of the garden, for sure. But in Nebraska, when it's snowing, here too. Um, can't really plant a garden, so I found that English cucumbers are a little bit more dense, which gives it a little bit more crunch okay. than regular cucumbers, so. I think that sounds right. I'm a crunchy girl. All right, so we'll bowl these and then we're gonna um, thinly slice our onion too. Okay. Um, you can do thick slices. Just stand there, I'll do this, okay? <laughs> um, you can make uh, your onion slices thick. I like mine a little bit thinner. Um, since the cucumbers are sliced a little bit thinner, you get a little bit more in every single bite. Again, I'm an onion girl. What's so. that called? S spread? Remember? spread? Yeah, oh, we yeah. learned Dang that. Dang it. Dang it, I knew that. You don't listen. Okay, so do you have a secret for these onions? Right here. Right here. I'm not using the knife, right? Okay. You're doing great. All right. You cut it in half. All right. I think you need to peel one layer. You see how it's kind of got that? Two's fine, yeah, it's... Okay, two. And then could we, do you want to see this? Yeah, I do. Should we try it? It does work. Yeah, that's good. Right? Yeah. And you can make them super thin, like... Oh, that's even better. Feather. Yes, yes, feather. But for onions, I just like to use the knife. Okay. It's way easier. Show me how it's done, chef. And then I'll go here. But you gotta keep your workspace clean. I, I am, I am. And I gotta eat those. When Dustin's not here, <laughs> everything falls he apart. He leaves, you know what yeah. I said? He leaves like half, half of what we're the... supposed to be eating on the on the table. Yeah. It's funny. Okay, so using these lines as your guide, I'm kind of angling your knife. You would cut. 
to about there, and then you can flip it. Okay. But like, that's why these are all pretty uniform. When you cut pretty the other good. way, like like we did here, then you get this big one outside, and you get this teeny little guy inside. Right? Got it. Not very uniform. Got it. This looks a lot more uniform. Got it. It so sure does. Use the lines as your guide. Sure does. The only real time I cut the other way. I'll try. Did I just do it wrong? Start, start here. Ah. But it's all right. Okay. Put them in. We're just gonna top with a little bit of salt. Pinch a little bit of salt on that guy. Yes. All right. Do want stir to, it around. It's okay, stir it in, yes. and then the, the salt is gonna draw out the moisture. Is that correct? Yeah. We're going for exactly. Um, so we'll let this sit for a while and you're gonna notice a little bit of, of water will start to, to formulate on the bottom of your pan, which will eventually drain before we get to the cream. Um, but next we'll mix that up. Okay, and then we magically just have one here that's ready to go. Is that right? Yes. And you can see, like she said, that water's water coming out. Water would be at the bottom, right? yeah. So how about if we use this bowl and this plate? Perfect. I'm just kind of trap these in here and see how much water we can get. Our own little strainer. Yeah, those onions are strong. And why are we doing this? Because the salt drew out a lot of the moisture and if you leave the water inside, um, it'll be a little bit more runny and we want the cream to just kind of fold over the cucumbers and not okay. just be such a puddle on your plate. So about that, I mean, that's a good amount. Good so amount of water. Yeah, let's do it. I'm, I'm curious Here's to know as well. Cups. Wow. So at least a cup awesome. and we could probably get a little bit more out of that for sure. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We've always got time for that. No, we Nobody. don't. Nobody. All right. So the cream. Cream? Show me. Literally, we need a bowl. Um, and we need some vinegar. And we'll pour the two together, give a little whirl. We'll pour, we'll pour, pour it, it on there. top of the, the cukes there. So again, I got one cup um, heavy cream and half a cup. What did we say? Half a cup? One cup. That's half a cup. Half a right cup. There, half yep. a cup. That's right. All right. So yes, literally heavy cream, your vinegar. What the vinegar is going to do to the cream is it's going to thicken it up a little bit. So oh. we'll just give it a little Maybe stir. Like yogurt here, a little acid. Yes. And yeah. And you can let that sit for a little bit. Um, I love my cucumbers chilled, so if you can refrigerate this for a good hour, even longer. Mm -hmm. um, if you got a dinner party, lake party, picnic, family reunion, summertime. Potluck. Potluck. Um, slumber party. Slumber party. Yeah. Uh, it makes for gathering. the perfect gathering. Yeah. Definitely. All right. It got thicker. Got thicker. Yeah, it did. For sure. Taste it. It's so good. Mm. It's so good. Okay. The secret, I actually sometimes use this as salad dressing. Um, it pairs really well with kale, um, spinach, any type of salad. Yeah. You're sharing your secrets. I am. What, what's up next? Dump okay. it in there and Dump stir it in there. So okay. the cucumbers are drained. We're going to pour it over and then we'll just fold it in and then you can add more salt if you like more salt. Um, we're going to garnish a little pepper over top. Ah, it's so Goes great with chicken. Goes great with anything. Steak, chicken, did pork chops. Did you ever chops. have this over a baked potato? We did. We would, have over, we would make volcanoes, actually. We'd oh. make a pile of mashed potatoes, make a little hole, and this, this would plop right in. Yeah, doesn't that look awesome? Great. So good. Okay. So it's clear it you want to so taste good. it. Of course, duh. God. I just did my finger. I like that. Mmm. <laughs> Get some of that onion in there. Mm. I know, I know. Top with a little pepper, stir it again. Good. Perfect. Stir it again, you can never go wrong with pepper. You can go without the pepper if you want to. You have so Refrigerate many good tips. It. I love these Thanks. tips. With or without the pepper. Right. Volcano in the potatoes. For sure. Um, yeah, on the, on the dressing. And actually, I will put this with my salad and this will just be my dressing. On top, um, yeah, that's on a good top. idea. You can add I olive like oil that. a little bit too if you need more, more moisture in your salad. It's awesome. 
how are we gonna plate this up? Ah, what do you do? Do you meal prep this? Do you put it in pork? Um, I do, cups? I okay. do. Um, I usually put it with, ch I, so sometimes I eat my chicken cold, I don't know if that's yeah. good or bad, yeah. but if it'll make a nice little like almost chicken salad, um, in a sense. So yeah, I just plop it in a container with my leftover chicken. You can do the same, or you can just court this in another um, type of container like we did the, uh, the Omaha kimchi. Omaha kimchi, baby. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't seen that one, check it out, right? It's great. Yeah, you should. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Let's court okay, it up and let's then we'll take it, it out. Perfect. Boom. All right, so here we are all portioned out. Stacey, what did we come up with? We got about 10 cups. 10 cups. We got four over here portioned out, ready to go, and we're gonna crush this one right now. And this is great for meal prep. Like you said, you could pair this with a pre-cooked protein to make like a chicken salad. Absolutely. Goes well on potatoes. Um, it's awesome. I grew up eating it. We had ours with Miracle Whip. Oh, sure. Miracle Whip and sugar and... Oh, uh, yeah. But this is next level stuff, you guys. Super simple. Give it a try. This is Stacy's Cuke Salad. And until next time, happy, happy cooking! cooking.